What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 Showdown Live. So truth be told, um, I forgot I didn't have a video to go up today. So I built this team really quick uh, and it's something I've been meaning to try out for a little bit. I haven't made a, an Aspothra Sandy Shocks video yet. So I'm, I'm using it today. I just think it'd be a fun combo to use, especially with Chiyu being legal now. I actually think Sandy Shocks can be a pretty big threat. So yeah, that's what we're doing. If you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my comment question of the day, which is, I don't know, what do you think about Aspothra? Who, who cares? Just leave a comment down below. I don't know, say hi. Anyways, let's get into the team. So this is going to be a really quick, you know, showdown live testing session. Built this team five minutes ago. Um, you know, what, what? I don't even know what I'm on, like what I'm at on the ladder. I dropped a ton of points after prepping for Portland. Yeah, I'm 14-12, so not super high. Um, like, literally mid-ladder. Uh, so it's a nice place to use a Spothra. So the team is, we have Covert Cloak, Spothra with Hypnosis, Lumina Crash, Protect, Pounce. Um, we always take Hydro Pump from opposing, was it? Basically, we like never die to uh, Beads of Ruin, Hydro Pump from opposing Iron Bundle, which is something that's like a thing we have to deal with now. And we have Covert Cloak, Speed Boost, Hypnosis, Lumina Crash, Protect, Pounce. We have Booster Energy, Sandy Shocks, Gravity, Earth Power, Thunder, Protect. The way that this thing's built is um, I'm actually hitting 167 speed while Sandy Shocks is 168. Because that lets me make a play where if, I am, if I'm ever facing off against an Iron Bundle, turn one, I just protect Sandy Shocks and go for Pounce into Bundle. And then turn two, my Sandy Shocks will be faster than the Iron Bundle, but so will the Espothra. So I can still go for... Gravity plus Hypnosis if I feel like it's it's uh, necessary. Otherwise, um, the Espothra would be faster the next turn. So that's why we're hitting that speed tier. Uh, Chi Yu is just running like Focus Sash, Heat Wave, Water Pulse, Protect, or Water Pulse, Dark Pulse, Overheat. Uh, we have Assault Vest, King Gambit, Iron Head, Assurance, Terra Blast, Sucker Punch. And we have actually, do I want, do I want Assurance? I think I might just want Kowtow Cleave. Uh, let's just go Kowtow Cleave. Yeah. I have a very bulky Specs Flutter main to combo with the Chiyu lead. And of course, we have Palafin Hero. This team doesn't seem terrible on paper. We'll see how we do. Anyways, let's get into it. And excuse me, I was playing games with Jamie earlier. All right. Let's see. And excuse the name of the team. I, I based it off of a team I used uh, with my girlfriend. Okay. So... The Espothra Sandy Shoxley doesn't seem bad at all, especially considering what I mentioned earlier, how I can just like protect turn one. Uh, so we'll do that. And I think for my end game, I get a lot of value out of Palafin as well as my Flutter. Yeah. Oh, I didn't open up the team sheet. I'm an idiot. All right, there's Glamora Dondozo. Um... I should be free to sleep this Gamora. I'm not terribly scared of Dondozo because I can probably just tear a ghost. Actually, it's safer just to go for the Dondozo, isn't it? In case they want to go into Tatsugiri. Let's double protect turn one because, like I mentioned, I'm still going to be able to do what I need to do. All right. Protect the Dondozo. Nice. Okay. Okay. So now I can actually do that. Uh, we're going to go for Hypnosis as well as a Gravity. I should outspeed both of these guys. If they want to protect the Dondozo, they shouldn't be able to. They go into Chiyu. That's not immune. There we go. Go for the Energy Ball. I do lose my Sandy Shocks, but now everything should be scared of Mr. Fluttermane. Mr. Mr. Fluttermane. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just go for another Hypnosis as well as a... Uh, I can just Terra Fairy here. Dazzling Gleam. And that should two-shot Chi Yu. They don't have any switch-ins. Don Dozo definitely isn't the switch into this. Yeah, that, that still doesn't do it because I can just do what I want. I can just go for the, um, the true combo of lowering your special defense stat. Uh, it's safer just to Hypnosis. That's fine. Hypnosis, Dazzling Gleam. And I still have Pounce Speed Control, which is really nice for the end game. Hmm. 
recognizes me. Please, guys, I'm not usually a Dondozo player. <laughs> bro, bro, we like Dondozo on this channel. Bro is not familiar with the Don Ductor. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just do that true combo, Lumina Crash, Dazzling Gleam. Lower that special defense stat. And this should KO. Nice. Gravity may be over, um, but everything drops. He didn't reveal Spiky Shield, but it'll be fine. Yeah, I have a ton of special defense in my Espathra, so I think we're good. Might be Scarf Tatsugiri. I could try to go for some speed control stuff, but... Um... Maybe I'd do that. Nah, there was no need. Yeah, they muddy water. Don't accuracy drop me. GG's. Yeah, GG. Well played. Good luck on your games today. Nice. Cool. So yeah, Espothra is like really cool. By the way, um, if you guys haven't checked out the Patreon, I did just upload a Patreon exclusive uh, going up around the time this will go up uh, where I actually build a snow team and that's going to be the ladder team I use for the rest of the week. Not ladder like showdown, but like ladder on ladder. The actual game. Okay, versus this. Um, I actually still like this lead. Let me open up these team sheets. I would very much appreciate it if you would open these team sheets for me, sir. Uh, do I get a lot of value out of you? I think I do get a lot of value out of Palafin, but only like late game. Let me think. Yeah, all right. Purifier, King Loose, Choice Band, Terra Water. Yeah, I'm going to want to sleep you like ASAP. Um... Yeah, let's bring late game Palafin and I think Flutterman. Did I hit him with the GLHF? I did not. Whoops. All right. What's Buddy going to do? What's Buddy going to do? There's the Ting Lu. There's the Dragonite. Um, so I'm more concerned with the Ting Lu than anything. Sleeping, that would be great. But I also don't like Dragonite. Yeah, we're going to sleep Ting Lu. I'm going to Hypnosis. I don't think I need to Terror Ghost. Ooh, he could Earthquake is the issue. But I get more value out of Late Game Flutter. I'm just going to assume he doesn't Earthquake here. He does, in fact, Earthquake, but I keep all my Mons, which is really big. And now, um, I can go ahead and go for the Hypnosis into you. And... Earth Power isn't too bad. I could also get him Palafin here. No, I don't get much out of that. I guess I get the same value out of Thunder. Yeah. He's Lumberry. I forgot. I didn't read the team sheets, guys. Team sheets are made up anyways. All right. Um, right. Let's do this. Probably within extreme speed range. I'm going to go ahead and protect here. And go for the raw Moonblast. I don't need to Terra here. I forgot to read the team sheet. I, look, I saw that. I saw that on the team sheet. I just ignored it. <laughs> it actually goes Orthworm. That's interesting.
All right. Um, I mean, how scared am I of this? I think I still hypnosis into the Orthworm, and I just hope that this can one shot. I don't think it does though, because I can't like Lumina Crash. And it's not AV, it might. Yes, okay, that does KO, but now I'm actually prone to getting annihilated by uh, Dragonite. Yeah, okay, so I have to play my cards right here. I think what I'm going to do is assume that they want to be silly goofy, and they're more scared of a Spothra than they are of Fluttermane. So I'm going to go for a... Do I want to... Yeah, I think that they have to KO a spot through here because it's the last turn of gravity. So I'm going to go Palafin and I'm going to Moonblast. Ah, I got the call wrong. Okay. Yeah, now I'm stuck with this. I think that's game. <laughs> I think that's game. All right, GG. Yeah, uh, I had to get that turn right or I just lost. Okay. pretty interesting I don't know what's going on here um but I do have to be a little bit scared of anything this guy can do I think we just keep opening up the exact same way to be honest uh do I get value out of palafin in this late game possibly let's go with the uh chiyu flutter end game so they decide to do this I think I'm good just to double protect this turn and scout what they want to do. Yeah, okay. Good to note. As they're going to go for Earthquake. A Spothra can definitely eat an Earthquake. The question is if I can eat Earthquake into Foul Play. So I'm going to Terra Ghost Gravity and try to Hypnosis. Oh, I can't eat an Earthquake, apparently. Jeez. Uh, yo, is that a loss already? That might be a loss. Why? Is this Choice Band? I think it has to be Choice Band to one-shot a Spothra like that. Yeah, that's Choice Banded. Okay, I lost. I have to get this double. That's yeah, game. All right. Well, you know, that is what it is. Except open team sheets, GLHF. Please open them. Please open them. <laughs> there it is. All right. So let's see. Uh, Grim Snarl, Iron Hands, Golden Go, Amoongus, Arcanine, Rotom. Uh, goggles, Citrus Berry, Standard, Terra Steel, Terra Grass. Safety Goggles and Terra Grass is weird. I think you'd want to go like Terra Water if you're Safety Goggles. Lungus is Rocky Helmet, Terra Water. Terra Water, Golden Go. Iron Hands is Grass. Parting Shot, Screens. Don't see much of an issue with this, to be honest. I do get a lot of value out of King Gambit. I think. And like Flutter. Yeah. All right, he's thinking. I mean, like, versus Sandy Shocks a spot throw, I'd imagine you would be kind of scared. Like, it, it, no one really knows what it does, and he doesn't actually have Thunder Wave on this thing. Well, I guess you know what it does, but, like, not a lot of people know how you respond to it.
He's certainly contemplating. Certainly pontificating. All right, let's see. So, I mean, versus this, they had Heavy Slam on that, right? Okay. I just Terror Ghost and I like Sleep the Grim Snarl so we can't get too many screens up. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and Hypnosis you and I'm actually more inclined to focus down Iron Hands than anything because King Gambit does well into like everything else. So I'll Hypnosis this turn, and the next turn my Spother will outspeed, and I can start going for um, Lumina Crash plus Earth Powers. Also, I just realized a Spother has high heals. What? That's crazy. All right, well, that's not a switch in. Get ready for this hard call out. This this is gonna be the greatest call out of all time. Behold. Lumina Crash plus Thunder. I dare you to Terra Water. I dare you to Terra Water right now. Please Terra Water. It'd make me feel really cool. It'd make me feel so cool. You didn't Terra Water. Okay. Honestly, I just repeat that turn, but now he knows I want to go for Thunder, so I'm gonna Earth Power. Also, it catches everything. Come on, Stinky. Come on, Stinky. Give me your golden go. All right, that's fine. I'll take that. That's gone. Does not wake up. There's Jolting go. Um... I think here, I actually just go into King Gambit and Thunder the Grim Snarl. They, what? They just went for it? That's crazy. All right. Um. Well, now I should be fine. I can just go for Kowtow Cleave. And I'll Thunder again. No, I just Earth Power. He's still trying to wake up. I'm going to Kowtow Cleave in Gravity. Actually, there's no point in Gravity. Nice. Shouldn't KO. No para. Spirit Break won't KO me either. That's gone. And I get a, a nice little attack boost. Nice. All right. Sick. All right, interesting. Please accept the team sheets. Please, please accept the team. You turned on the timer. You didn't accept the team sheets. You, 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 why won't you just accept the team sheets? I'm gonna throw up. Um. All right, Uh. let's just do the thing. Sure. Uh, in the back, I do get a ton of value out of like terrifying King Gambit, so I'm gonna be careful with that. And I think I just bring Chi Yu as my last. Like that doesn't seem bad here at all. Cool. Let's. Uh, I want to sleep bronze on because I really don't want Trick Room to go up. Question is, who do I Terra? I'm cool with Aspathra surviving longer. I don't think I Terra either of them, actually. Let's just Hypnosis Gravity. Yeah, because I because now you're just hurting your bronze on, bro. Cool. Um, I can go ahead and go for the hypnosis here as well as an earth power into that bronze on to KO. Nice. Getting lots and lots of speed boosts. There's the flood of main. I'm faster than it, so hypnosis thunder seems perfectly acceptable. Oh, he woke up. All right, that's fine. 
So here, I actually think that my play is just going to be to Terra Flying and they didn't burn a Terra yet and I'm kind of concerned they're going to be an annoying Terra. Maybe Terra Fairy. I think I'm good to double this Flutter main. I'm going to Terra Iron Head as well as go for the, uh, the Heat Wave. Hopefully they're not Terra Water. That hurt, but we're fine. Can I get a burn on the Tinglu? That'd be so poggers. Also, I forgot that I'm not immune. Oh my god, I might lose off of that. Terra Blast, one shot. It didn't one shot. I think I lose. <laughs> oh, I'm such a goofy guy. All right. That's fine. GG. Let's do two more. I'm just going to try to win out my last two. Like I said, this is more just like testing the concept than anything. I'm not like here like, guys, this is the next big thing. I just want to try out the concept. Versus a really interesting snow team. Um, yeah, I mean, like, this is fine. Look, come on. There's not even a global challenge anymore. There's not even a global challenge. Why are we still rejecting team sheets? Why are we still rejecting battles? All right. Two more. I swear. Watch. I'm going to give him five seconds. He's going to he's going to deny the team sheets. I have never seen an Ndidi Armourage player accept open team sheets. I'm just going to assume he's not going to. If he does, honestly, I'm proud of him. I kind of hope he can break the mold here. And Gambit the back's huge. I'm not going to select my last Mon. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till this guy openly denies the team sheet. I'm weak. Yeah, no, nah, he wasn't going to accept it. There's Halucha. Um, so I'm going to make a bold prediction and say that this can be like a weakness policy. And that he's actually fast. That's my prediction. Because he doesn't have a trick room mode. So I'm going to double protect here. Banning force. Okay. Um, yeah, I should be fine just to hypnosis and gravity. He doesn't need that, but now I just go into my King Gambit. I think Terra Flying just beats. Can't follow me. Doesn't look like he protects. Cool. Get rid of that. I'm now faster than Halucha, so I can ignore it this next turn, sleep it, and just KO this thing. Unless it wakes up. There's the Halucha. It does get a boost here. 417, 187. Am I faster this turn? I'm actually not certain. Let me think. So 187 times 2 is... 360 plus 14, 374. Yeah, I'm faster. Hypnosis, Kowtow Cleave. I don't know what you gained out of that. Um, I guess technically you did gain something. I don't know how much it's going to matter, though. I think I protect here and I Kowtow Cleave. Yeah. And now I go for the... Technically, I double attack. I Lumina Crash. And I also Terra Blast. In case this somehow KOs. Get my Flutter main. Sandy Shocks. Okay. 
I should be able to eat a hit from Sandy Shocks. I think my play here is just Terra Blast and Moonblast. Sucker Punch gains me nothing, and I'm a really bulky Flutterman. Yeah, I eat, so... Doesn't quite KO that, but this should definitely one-shot you. And now I have Sucker Punch, so that's game. Nice little lock there. Alright, GG. Look, just... If the last guy could open up the team sheets so I can lose with honor, that'd be great. We're waiting. By the way, this is a big reason I haven't done Showdown Lives in a minute, is because, like, the team sheets are not... Yeah, alright, cool. So now if I lose, I can lose with honor. The disrespect. Oh my god. Look at this. The disrespect. Name your Amoongus Wo Chen. Halt. Who goes there, soldier of Wo Chen? It is I, Amoongus. <gasps> the deceiver who wears the skin of a believer. All right. Um. Man, I really, really, really want to lead off with King Gambit because it seems super good here. But I'm just too goofy. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I do get a lot of value out of Alephin, though. I haven't brought Palafin like, any games. I think I do late game Palafin and Flutterman. Also, Expert Belt Dragonite's wacky. Mixed, too. Hurricane, Thunder, Extreme Speed, Protect. Lumberry on Scizor, I have to keep mind of. Terra Grass Trailblaze is crazy. Is that 90? Because he has Technician. It's uh, 75. Cool. Turn on the timer. Also, Booster Great Tusk is wacky too. Honestly, I think on Great Tusk, if you're running booster energy and you have Life Orb free, do they have Life Orb free? No, Salamence has it. Do they have Goggles free? I guess I book a Goggles on Salamence and then just give Life Orb to the, to the Tusk. It would appear I need to immediately sleep this thing. I know he's going to Tailwind. I know he is, but no. And if he doesn't, that's better for us. Like, I don't mind losing Sandy Shocks. Cool. Um, Aspothra should be faster. Do I double protect here? Actually, something that I could do is I have a lot of special defense on the Sandy Shocks, or on this Aspothra. I could just Terra Ghost Thunder. And go for a Hypnosis. Or just Lumina Crash. Because I think I can eat a Hydro Pump if I do that. Right? Hold on, let me check this thing's stats. I always forget his stats. 85, we have 44 HP. We can eat a Hydro Pump. I believe in him. I believe in him. If you don't believe in him, get out. Get out if you don't believe in him. Wait, protected. All right. Look, we just get faster. We just get faster, man. All right. I believe in him, man. I believe in him. I gotta slay this false god. Actually, why wouldn't I just Hypnosis this thing now? Good point, me. Um, this should KO now. Yo. Nice little damage there. Nice little bit of damage. Um, 
He's Lumberry on the Scizor. So I think here I just go for Thunder and a Lumina Crash. I could also double the scissor, it doesn't have protect. And that prevents them from beating me with um anything too wacky. Yeah, let's just double the scissor. Because I'm scared of like a Terra. Oh, and I'm still faster. I'm so goofy, man. So, I mean, I can one-shot this Great Tusk. We also did see Pelipper has access to Protect, so I'm just going to go out and let me say Protects this turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the Earth Power and Hypnosis, or actually Lumina Crash, because I think they Protect here to stall out Gravity. They don't Protect, but let's see. Yeah, Sandy Shocks is still faster. That's a bulky Pelipper. They're getting outsped. I think that's just game. I have 100% accurate thunders. Go for it. Lumina crash. Man, I... Alright, so... I really am a little upset I couldn't click pounce this whole game, but I still like... Or this whole, like, session, but I still like the team, man. I think it's still fun. Obviously, I can optimize it a little bit, but... It's still a fun team. Alright. Let me, let, me, let me hit him with the pounce. Let me hit him with the silly, goofy move. Let me click my silly, goofy pack. I want to show him the silly, goofy tech. GG, well played. Bounce. <laughs> the silly, goofy tech. <laughs> Yeah, I do think Pounce is really good in Aspothra. If you don't know, um, there was an Aspothra that did like really, really well at Charlotte, I think, or Orlando, I forget, uh, that did have, it could have even been um, Knoxville, but it had Pounce on it, so I got inspired by that. I'm like, yeah, it's like a really good move. Just the combos you can do, like the speed control, super nice. So yeah, uh, that was just like a quick little showdown live for you guys. Uh, you know, I appreciate you all watching. Sorry if it wasn't like the most in-depth showdown live I've ever made, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.